What up? My name is Jalen, and this is Live from the Living Room. This is my song, The End, produced by Jeremy Blair. People dancing outside, we parading outside, screaming, hollering all together. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. For all the tears cry because of your pride, our innocence died when we let you inside. Fuck you all. We still ball. Cry tears of joy, broke the confines within my mind. Shit feels so sublime. Life is time, so divinely I'm burning bright like a star I'm shining so bright and young the light I've come to save all you niggas from the wrath of all of these beautiful rack city bitches keep on tweaking promise shit gon' be something vicious for little oh you and you and you can't regulate for heaven's sake lead a fuckery that you create up to God I pray to show me how to be free This motherfucker hurt me, nigga, I'm free And the hands are in distress, a mess when they save it Just to let a bunch of broke niggas come fuck off and play me Something special about self-sabotage, I just feel so soothing Every time I fuck up solutions, pretend it's a movie But I'm done, so I'm done with chasing all these niggas Who be wasting they damn time Convinced up in they delusional heads that they all mad Fuck nigga, fuck you, bitch All I wonder was a clear vision of where I should go Every time I try, I always end up being a hoe Self-reflation got me start, don't wanna be me no more Out of pocket behavior, somebody show me the dough Cause I'ma zoom through that bitch, run, fairy boy, run Losing my shit, glad I don't own a gun Set it off in this bitch, poppin' shit just for fun Maybe if I had some shrooms in this bitch, I'd follow my gut Hallucinate myself out of this rut, drag my dick, hit it back up out of the mud What up? My name is Jalen, and this is Live from the Living Room. This is my song, The End, produced by Jeremy Blair. Music, it means a lot to me. I honestly, if I tried to put it in words, I would probably be stuttering and stumbling a lot. But it is, it's an outlet for me, especially lately. It's been something that I'm able to latch on to when I feel like I'm getting ready to resort to some other shit that I probably shouldn't be doing. It's like, almost like a saving grace, some sort of savior. It feels like it's a, it's a comfort space. Chicago now, I'm from Chicago now, but I grew up in the suburbs, so I guess I'm from the suburbs in Hazelcrest. I just started writing songs May of last year in 2023. I just recorded my first song like three weeks ago. Yes, I started doing open mics and performing, trying to get some sort of stage presence and comfortability in front of crowds and everything. Um, and that has helped shape my um, process and everything as far as making music. It, it helps me 
be able to be comfortable no matter who it is I'm in front of and no matter what experiences that we have. Just being able to be in spaces where there are many different stories being told whenever I am making music with other people, I'm comfortable enough to know that I can tell my story however the fuck I want to because they gonna do that for their shit, so. What inspired this song was a relationship, a breakup, basically, to keep it simple. And then the theme of it and the energy that I wanted to get from it was from this sweater that was hanging on Jeremy's wall. It said, fuck them all. It was like a Supreme sweater or something. And I saw that. And then he just started playing this random beat. And I was like, oh, do that. And then I started saying that. And then all this came about. So just expressing my pain so I can not just lay in my bed and be sad and not proactive and shit. My mother, first and foremost, because she is a singer. Um, my aunties, they're all performers. And as far as mainstream, Frank Ocean, for sure. SZA, for sure. I really fuck with Stevie Wonder. I don't sound anything like him, but I really do like his, just his sound and his versatility and everything. That's a good question. I want to take my music wherever it needs to be taken to. I do enjoy it. I know that I enjoy it and I want to keep doing it and I know I want to keep doing it in front of people. But as far as like how much I want to do, I'm not sure. But for right now, I know I want to share my music and I want to keep sharing it and inspiring others to share whatever it is that they have. But like long term, I'm not sure. But right now, I'm having fun with it. I mean, that's a, that's a good place to be in. For sure. I don't know what they be doing up there. <laughs> I decided to come onto Live from the Living Room because I felt like it would be, it seemed like a safe space for me to be able to tell my stories exactly how I'm trying to. I feel like y'all created a platform for people to come and do that and to showcase what it is that they have going on and what it is they have to say. And like I said, I've been going to all of these other places and I feel like this was another cool, safe space for me to be able to do that. So it's like, y'all made it for us. We got to utilize it. I don't know. <laughs> um, for anybody who is watching, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for listening. And thank you for being alive and choosing to stay alive. Keep being great. <laughs>